Hi friends, in this video we are going to see what is the difference between HTML based script and URL based script in Loadrunner. Quite often performance testers will be in a dilemma which mode they want to select for their application. I hope this video will answer their question. To demonstrate the difference, I am going to record a simple business flow in Internet Explorer using blessdemo.com and then I am going to uh, demonstrate the difference. So first we will see HTML based script and then I am going to regenerate the script in URL based mode and then we will see the differences and which mode you want to select for what kind of application. Okay. Now let's go to uh, recording options. So just hit recording options and make sure that uh, you have selected the HTML based script. So if you go to uh, recording and uh, check this, uh, uh, click on this radio button and there is a advanced uh, options also available. So if you click it, make sure that you are using the defaults uh, value in uh, script type and non-HTML generated uh, elements. Now hit OK and click on OK again and make sure that you have entered the, uh, the URL and the application is uh, IE and recording is uh, web browser. Now hit start recording. So it will open the blessdemo.com in the IE browser. So we are going with the default value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, find flights and I'm going to select the default flight and I'm going to purchase a ticket. So find flights and I'm going to choose this flight and I'm going to click on purchase flight. So now I'm going to close this browser and I'm going to hit stop. Now Loadrunner will generate the HTML based script. So basically HTML based script is, uh, uh, it will generate a separate step for each HTML action. So the very first step is to launch the page. And after that, what I have done is I clicked on purchase flights. So purchase flights request will be, uh, it, will, it, it is sending two values. One is the from city and to city. And next what I have done is I have selected the uh, choose this flight. So the first flight I have selected. So that is why in the purchase.php you can see the ordinal is one, which is the first flight. And uh, in third request has the confirmation. So what I have done is I clicked on uh, purchase flight. So when I click on purchase flight, these are the values it is sending to the server. So for each click, load owner has been uh, generated the uh, appropriate uh, requests using web underscore URL, web underscore submit underscore form and uh, uh, three forms are available in this particular script. So it will be apt if your uh, script has the uh, legacy architecture, like if you want to generate a, a request for each click, then you can go for HTML based script. Okay. Now I'm going to generate the same business flow using URL based mode. Okay. So just note down the number of lines in this particular script. So total number of line is 51. Okay. Now I'm going to regenerate. So to regenerate, I'm going to record menu and I'm clicking on uh, regenerate script and clicking on options. In the options, I'm going to select URL based script. And in the URL advanced, I'm going to use defaults and I'm clicking on OK. Then click on OK again and click OK again to regenerate the script. So URL based script, it will generate uh, requests for each resources. Okay, for example, if the website has a logo file, so Loadrunner will generate a separate request for the logo file and it will generate a separate request for CSS. It will generate a separate request for JavaScript and so on. So each resources, how many resources we have, we do not know unless you record. So if the application has many resources, then it will generate 
re, uh, request for each resources and it will send in uh, uh, request to the backend based on how your script has been structured so in this case the first request is to launch a web page right but second request it is sending a uh, send a sending a request for the javascript bootstrap and similarly it is sending for uh, css again there is a javascript again there is a css again there is an icon and then only we have the reserve.php the action business uh, click then we have a icon file again again we have a php and third again we have php now the number of lines in your script is 118 when compared to 51 so it is almost double so why we should go for url based script so if you are testing uh, uh, recording pages which has applets or non browser based applications then in that case you can go for this type of mode but again it depends if you want to uh, uh, have uh, the script which has for all the resources i want a each request to be hit then you can go for this type of mode and but the maintenance it will be very cumbersome uh, the maintenance will be very uh, time consuming and uh, uh, you have to keep a uh, uh, comments if you want to keep a version history because you will get a lot of codes in your script file right but in in the other way in html based you will get only very less number of lines and maintainability is pretty simple it's very easy when compared to url based mode and url based is not as intuitive uh, as the html based and for each request if you see it will be web underscore url and uh, you can see web underscore submit data and sometimes web underscore custom request right so so these are the main differences so html based is very short and sweet and it will have only the clicks and uh, uh, url based will have a more number of lines of code maintenance will be very tough and uh, if your application has applets and uh, non browser applications then you can go for url based and uh, other uh, 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 important tip is the correlation so correlation uh if you are generating uh, if if your application has lot of correlations then again the url mode will have also more correlations right so make sure that uh, you are selecting the uh, the mode uh, aptly so just generate it uh, first with html and execute it make sure that no errors are there then if the mode is not uh, yielding any results then you can generate it using url based so sometimes uh, correlation might not be uh, captured in html based so you, if you go for url based mode then you can get more details uh, about the, the correlation so it depends on the type of application you are using but first start with html if your script is working fine with everything correlation data parameterization everything then you can go for html otherwise regenerate it using url based mode so i hope this video is helpful and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and please subscribe to qa insights podcast for a weekly updates about performance trends and keep scripting thank you thanks for listening